Welcome back to Mango Plays Wild Flowers. Uh, let's see. Oh, I've got a little bit of harvesting to do. Um, and I think today we've got to just finish up a few quests for the spring fling. So we're going to get the unloved potion and another truffle. Okay, let's see if we can get another truffle from our wondrous pig. I think muddles. Is that what you're called? Hello, you're glowing. Why are you glowing? I don't know. Why are you glowing? Oh, is it because of the charm potion? Okay, fair enough. Um, and apparently I've already interacted with them. Now, we have an Arda cooling potion to get. Am I able? Nope. Okay. Hey, I guess it's tomorrow for that. What else do we need to get done? I guess we should just go visit people. Find out what's going on. Everyone enjoying spring? Bruno asked me how to make chai the other day. I don't usually relish the idea of having competition for Kai's spices, but in this case, I'll make an exception. Oh, Bruno's lovely, right? You kind of can't deny Bruno anything. Hello. That's it. You come natter with Pounding me. Pounding dough is great stress relief. Whenever Francis and I get in a fight, I sell a lot of loaves the next day. Uh, does that mean that your loaves are better after a fight? That is a curious question. Tara, thanks so much for giving Violet a hand. We have so many bouquets, we're running out of space to store them. Really? In the mayor's mansion? Well, Sebastian's allergies get triggered, so we're trying to keep them all in one of our guest rooms. But the spring fling is going to be just spectacular. Oh. I reckon it will be lovely. I'm very excited to see the new festival. Here, have some coconut rice. I have my charm potion on. We can befriend you quick. What a delicious surprise. Violet's got me onto these and I can't get enough of them. Food's one of those things I think I miss the most. After my children, of course. Of course, of course. New acquaintance. Have I spoken with you today? I have. Okay, fair enough. Hey. Okay. Oh, we'll say hello to the kid, Lewinx. How are you doing, guys? Mommy is going to show us how to use beeswax sticks to draw on the eggs before we dye them. Isn't that cool? It is very cool. And I'm glad you're excited. I thought chocolate milkshake was your favorite. Oh, no, it's strawberry. Yeah, your sister likes the chocolate flavor. Mom says I shouldn't spoil my appetite with too many snacks. <laughs> but one snack isn't too many. Yeah, I hope I don't cause problems for you. No, no, no. Hello, how you doing, Emmy? You are right? Miss Joshy made us the best lunch. I didn't even know it had vegetables in it until she told me. <laughs> That's awesome. So are you excited that she's your new teacher? Yes. She's going to show us how to do weather science. She's so cool. Yep, she is. And I'm also getting kicked in the head, which, you know, awesome. It, it's my favorite thing. Honestly, Ooh, part of why I find snack. swing scary. Let's see if it fits in my pocket. Oh, dear. Hey, uh, we talked to you. Tara, can I ask you a question? Before Hazel died, did she, um, pass anything to you? She did, actually. Kind of like... A spark? Yeah. Huh. The trip I took with Dad to see his Nona is starting to make a lot more sense. Hmm. Did she? Did I miss that? Um, here he is. Yum. I'm not even hungry, but I'll totally make room for this. Oh, bless you, lovely. Okay, right. Who else should we go annoy? Okay, Parker is closed. Oh, yeah, it's 5.50. Uh, five, yeah, 5.50. 5.40, 5 5.50 is late. What about Granny? Can we annoy Granny? No? I love those bouquets in Granny's um, grave. I think it's so lovely. Oh, hello, Bruno. Bruno? Bruno? Can we not talk to you? I'm exhausted. <laughs> and to think, I believe that moving here would mean a slower-paced life. I feel like I have to work even harder because I'm the only one responsible for the whole town's health. You do seem really busy. One woman I dated said I use work as an excuse to not get close to anyone. 
She just didn't understand the pressure. Maybe it's her. Maybe take some time off. Maybe your ex had a point. Um. Oh. So I used to use work as an excuse not to get close to anyone. It could very well be the case, but there are certain jobs that if your partner has, my opinion is that you kind of just have to accept that realistically, you are going to come a little bit second fiddle. Now, it shouldn't always be the case, but you just, um, I feel like you need to be aware of that and not try and change the person. If you're not comfortable with that thought process, then date somebody who doesn't have that type of job, job even. I, you know, I'm talking sort of certain things like, um, you know, certain types of law enforcement, um, firefighting I'd expect would be very similar, doctors, um, jobs where it is kind of along the lines of saving someone's life. And realistically, you're never going to come up to that situation. Now, that being said, if your partner is ignoring you during a difficult time, etc., that's not good. But um, and, you know, you totally have a right to go, I don't care that you have a really important job. You know, I'm, I'm going through something really difficult. You should be here as my partner. I'm here for you when you're going through difficult things and just in general. You know, that should be there. But I think there is an element of someone's job may actually change their priorities. And realistically, don't date someone with a job that means that their priority isn't you if what you want is their priority to be you. There is lots of pros and cons um, for dating someone who, for example, has one of those types of jobs. You'll have a lot more time for yourself. You know, if you like your own time, that works. So it's totally possible. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it is. I do know that some people go into those types of careers or should I say put extra effort into those types of careers because it's a very easy excuse to not have to let their guard down and they've been hurt before they don't want to let their guard down and as such they use their job as a crutch to no longer require to let their guard down and that could be very accurate um so maybe your ex had a point but uh, I don't I, 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 maybe it was her as well I'm going to say the bottom because I think that's the most, like, balanced. Um, I don't know how Tara's actually going to say it, though, because my my viewpoint would be maybe your ex had a point. Have you actually thought about it this way? Or maybe, you know, she just... Maybe you need to readdress how you start dating someone. Um, one of the biggest things I think that people need to get understood is realizing who they are so when they are starting that dating process being able to tell the person that this is who i am right that gives the person the ability to walk out early but it also gives the person to the ability to go okay this is the expectations right you know person i'm dating may never buy me flowers because that's not who they are but what they will do is they will make me cups of coffee. You know, there's always pros and cons in a relationship. And if you aren't honest with yourself to know what your potential negatives are for a relationship, you can't explain that to someone. So maybe your ex had a point in a weird roundabout way, Amira, Don't is what I'm saying. Me. But I think your ex may have had a point. You might just not be ready to make space for someone else in your life right now. <laughs> I couldn't hate you. It's just depressing to think that you might be right. <sighs> Thanks for letting me vent. I feel like taking a day off soon. But like a real day off, not paying bills and doing laundry. Maybe if you're free, we could get a drink sometime. Totally. Aw. And I, that is also a very good point. Like, Amira needs to take time off that isn't a work thing. At the end of the day, <laughs> you work, you come home, and you work again. That work is normally, you know, cooking, looking after the kids, your animals, your house, your housework, etc., etc., etc. Being able to every so often take a day where you're like, 
I'm not going to think on those things. I'm not going to do those things. It's highly important. And Amira should do it more. Like, being a doctor honestly must be one of the most stressful jobs in the world. Look at you smiling. Happy patients heal faster. Okay, I always, it always baffles me when you say that because I'm not a patient of yours. But I'm glad that that's the way you feel. Ah. I, the more I've got to know you, Amira, the, the, the better I found their character, if that makes sense. And I love that fact. Um, I hate the fact she's dating Kim, though. I admire Bruno. He's lost so much, but talks about it all so easily. Yeah. Bruno is easier to admire. I love Bruno's philosophy. I think, yeah, actually most of the characters in here. Lena, I'm still struggling to like, mainly because I didn't approve of um, her basically lying to her life partner. And I've, I've waxed practical about it. You guys should know all about my feelings on that regard. Um, Marty's obviously expect or supposed to be annoying, so that fits. Uh, but yeah, I think I think Amira does need to take time for herself. Basically, is where my brain is going with it, and and she needs um she needs to be honest with herself about is she is she just rightfully spending time on her job. Because her job is, you know, incredibly difficult. And she empathizes with her patients. And as such, she wants the best for them. And, you know, she, she doesn't want to leave anybody without the ability to see a doctor. You know, she's the only doctor on the island, for example. Or is it because she has been hurt, like, by friends, by part ex-partners, by... Um, just random people that she just doesn't want to give anybody the ability to hurt her. Hurt her that way. Um, and that's perfectly valid. Like, I know I say it, like, and it comes across as negative. There's nothing wrong with feeling that way. I felt that way at times. Occasionally, you know, I'll feel that way. Um, even now, it, you, the important part that Amira needs to do is recognize it and go, yeah, all right, I feel like I need to close myself off. I won't do it forever. I'll do it for a couple of days whilst I'm struggling. Right? That's, that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'll get off my sofa box and do my chores. Come on, Tara. I do love all of my new distas. Ooh, yes. I was making um, lots of... Essence of joy? Yeah, that's it. Essence of joy. Now, we... I forget what I wanted that for. It was for a potion. Was it for the charm potion? I feel like it might be. Yeah, the very charming potion. Okay, we'll make that. So I got a spare one. I do have the charming potion for the day as well. Um, Let's get the crystal ball potion going. And... What, do I, what am I missing? Red dye. Haha, <laughs> of course. Nope, that these. Let's get some more red dye. Honestly, red dye is so easy with that clay coming in from Miney. Oh dear. Right, okay. One more crystal ball potion. And we did pick up some crystal ball potions. So let's use our crystal ball. We just got Zephyr to get. And then, of course, our animals. But, you know. Oh, I think I see something. That's the last one. Pin julep. Ah, lovely. Okay, right. Animals. Nuggets, what's your favorite thing? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Something that grows in summer. Okay. Very interesting, the hint system for the animals, but not for the people. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Uh, something that grows in fall. It's empty. Oh, okay, fair enough. Bedtime. Am I ready for bed? Yes, we've got a spling, spling, spling to get to. Um, and I need to get to Perry's shop to get the thing for Natalia. Uh, the potion for Natalia. I did love all of the speech changing. So, like, everyone was, like, very hyper interested in Natalia. Oh, I need a speed potion, clearly. Let's see... Uh, speed boost longer. Yes. 
And I will need one of those, which is requires an ink. Let's get five ink then. And yes, I'll craft that. We will need to go to the coven to refill my um, magic bar, in essence. You guys are all going to be ready in like a few hours. Fair enough. Okay. Get yeah, another truffle. That should complete that quest. Oh, is that miney? Yeah, you've returned. Thank you very much. And let's send you out. Yeah, I'll send you out hey, for three days. Miney. It's off to work you go. Okay. Um, oh, let me take my incantation. I'm like, why, why am I not moving faster? It's because I haven't the done the actual spell. Is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. Still very excited to find out what the new wand will be from Zephyr. Um, I really, I want to know why we'll need it. I'm hopeful that kind of storyline will be sort of opened up soon and we'll see it. Um, who knows? Right, okay. Oh, get milk from you. There we go. Give you a present. I don't know what you like at this point in time. Have a pumpkin. Yeah. I'll give you a stroke. Now, Buttercup's very nearly at full hearts. I think I've definitely decided I want to breed the pig. Because uh, I just... I'm just totally curious. Uh, what should I give you? Here, have some spinach. Some greenery. Seems good to me. Oh! And it was very good. Gertie, I know what your favourite food is now. There we go. Oh, you get the, like, glowy when I give you your favourite food? Ooh! Okay. Now, we know what you like. It is limes, and I have 63 of them. Very easy. And, of course, a good old cuddle and stroke. Give me the truffle. Give me the truffle. Yes. Thank you. You are so close to full hearts. It is going to be so much fun. Okay, we've got the truffle. We've got that quest complete. Let's go up to Perry's. See if we can get... <gasps> The duck was on the water. I love it so much. Oh, I love ducks. Hello. Oh. Hello. Keeping your collection tidy, huh? Indeed. I made some of these brews centuries ago. They collect dust, and then I forget what they are. Ooh. Uh, what is that golden one? That. <laughs> it makes the drinker win all the games they play. I brewed it uh, 150 years ago. The key ingredient is the hair of a six-toed cat. Vivian Wilde gave it to me. She was your... Uh, great-aunt? Great-great-aunt? Uh, how do humans keep track of this? Vivian always bested me in backgammon, so the potion was my revenge. So you were friends? I don't kiss and tell, witchling. Good for Vivian. You smooshed my ancestor. That is gross. No, good for Vivian. At the end of the day, I get how some people think it's gross and everything, but I long, 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 long ago realized that if my ancestors didn't do the gross stuff, which we all know isn't gross, I wouldn't exist. So, you know, good for Vivian. I'm, I'm glad that we're getting a bit more of the story. Although, did you really need to cheat, Harry? Really? Oh. Good for Vivian. Good for you, too. <laughs> Not that it's your business, but good is an understatement. Uh, so, how long have you been in Ravenwood Hollow, exactly? A handful of centuries. I could not say for certain. My earliest memories are of my labors for a sorcerer. Who forced me to do his bidding? He kept me in an iron amulet, and I could not break free. He was a greedy man, and he used me to trick his enemies. I did many things I did not want to do. Please don't tell me that there's a sociopathic sorcerer running around this island. No. Our ship wrecked on the coast of Fairhaven. He ran headlong into the gloaming. Only to be possessed by wraiths on the spot. Ariel drove him mad with his cries, and he threw himself into the ocean. 
Ariel freed me from my prison. The bracelets I wear on my wrists are that iron amulet. A reminder of what, exactly? Everything I did while I was in the Sorcerer's Thrall. When Ariel freed me, I swore to protect the humans on this island. As penance, I wonder if I will ever be able to undo the harm I caused. Maybe you don't need advice from some mortal spring chicken, but I have advice anyway. Go ahead. Have you considered forgiving yourself instead of waiting for a banner that says, you're forgiven to drop from the sky? A curious idea. No, I had not considered that, but now I will. Thank you, Witchling. Friend. Now we're in Perry of Friends. Aw. That was a very interesting story. I like that. Um, the, the... The fact... Because we had it before. Ariel tell us that if he had a best friend, um, it would be Perry. And now we know how they met, in essence. They met because Ariel freed Perry. And does that mean that... Ar Ariel, to a certain extent, has a little, bit, little bit more. Uh, what's the right wording? Love for more humanoid creatures than he would normally let you believe. I think maybe it does, which is really sweet because I love it. You know, like realistically, Ariel's all for all living things, which I can get behind. Um, but realizes that humanoid beings typically don't need as much help as maybe the, the beings that we subjugate and cause issues with by just existing in our current life and, and world and whatnot and yeah I think that's kind of cool and then we also got a bit of history with Perry and our great ancestor and what they why they have bracelets I didn't even notice the bracelets to be brutally honest um on Perry and kind of like that sort of like it feels very genie shackle type thing, which is interesting. And yeah, I can kind of get why maybe Perry is a little bit more down than you would hope. It's been centuries, but I've started dreaming lately. Dreams are memories, you know? Only our minds tend to rewrite them. I don't agree with that, Perry. I, I've had many a dream which is not which is not a memory. <laughs> like, uh, no. But, you know, I, I'm glad you started dreaming again. I haven't dreamed in a while, personally. Or should I say, I, I don't often recall dreams. And that's the interesting bit. Um, okay, here we go. Arda Cooling Potion, 300 gold. Not bad. We'll also get the rose water, considering we need that. We'll also get a couple of crystal ball potions for our animals. Should I get some of these? I mean, they're very cheap. Yeah, okay. There we go. I think I spent enough with you. New recipe, art of cooling potion. Can I be crafted at your cauldron? Okay. Anybody else to say hello to? Maybe Ariel will... Maybe we'll talk to Ariel about what we just learned. How you... So does that mean Ariel was first here? Mm. Zephyr says that now spring has arrived in the human world. It is time for romance to bloom. I don't understand. Why would you ever want to smush your lips against... Oh, Ariel, don't don't put it like that. Don't lie, Ariel. You truly understand. You, you love animals. You know exactly everything that happens in that regard and why. It is ultimately for procreation. Um... That is the reason we have various thoughts and feelings, etc. <laughs> well, it's down to, well, we need to procre procreate to exist. I like being able to pop in and out wherever I want, but walking isn't half bad. My family would be shocked to see me strolling around town like I'm one of you. You've always been one of us, Zephyr. Oh, I don't think I have anything. Oh, I do. I've got mint juleps. Yes. Here, enjoy it. Don't get drunk. Oh, it'd hey, be hilarious. Just what I need to go with my afternoon cake. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, because mint julep, as far as I'm aware. Oh, actually, I, I don't have the rest of the items, do I? Oh, I do. Okay. Um. Yeah, mint julep's whiskey, right? I think so. 
I think whiskey and something else. Let's have a look, actually. So now I'm curious. Um, oh, food, mint julep. There it is. Uh, a classic cocktail with mint and whiskey. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I don't know if I'd like it. I love whiskey. I love brandy. Don't drink it um, anymore, but... You know, if I, if I was asked what what would you drink, I'd probably go for a sniff or a brandy. Um, but adding mint to it seems a bit mm, weird to me. Right, where am I going? What am I doing? Okay, I need to. I need. To, I, I I need. <laughs> need to get your Arda cooling potion on the brew. Let's go do that first because I really do feel for Natalia. Like they're gonna want life to return back to normal rather than, than this sort of fake existence that's potentially happening for them and i get that okay so we need an emerald a moonflower and a dragon's blood vial okay uh, what did this say on the description actually i always forget there is so many cool bits of like lore around the descriptions as well drink this potion before speaking with someone in order to break up with them oh oh okay that's an interesting way to teach you that mechanic okay what are we doing i think I'm gonna do that and then oh honestly i don't know what potions i need really um reviving potion no don't need that hmm i mean i might as well craft that to be honest okay let's finally use uh this right we got them okay i need like firecracker and quackles his favorite food as well oh, i think i see something some kind of fruit okay no duck ducks like fruit but i i accept quackles you cute thing oh, i think i see something some kind of fruit okay and let's go for feathers oh, i think i see something some kind of fruit okay just need to feed them all fruit uh, Luna, what do you like? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Some kind of fruit. It's a <laughs> All right, let's um, let's go drop off the quests I can. Let's have a look here. That's three more days. That's in the works. We'll do that when that happens. So it's just let's go visit Cameron. Okay, with the truffles and mushrooms, and then the future truffles are mine. Or Cool recipes, um, which is grand stuff. Oh, Wesley, hello. We need to charm you, my dear. How you doing? Zephyr gave me some roots she found in the mines to make into tea. She said it's a goblin favorite, but um, it's not really to my taste. Ah, bless you. Okay, we got wine. But I did go and purposely make like roast beef and stuff for you, so enjoy. How did you know I'm hungry enough to eat an entire cow? Although, I'm that hungry on most nights. Right, let's have a look. We're now good friend with Wesley. Which, yeah, is three hearts. It looks like Wesley is really getting to know Tara. Keep an eye out for him around the island at different times and something special might happen. So we still got some events to trigger with Wesley, which is cool. Oh, hello, Cameron. Time to get the soup kettle on, Cameron. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is going to be so great. Come see me tomorrow. I'll make sure to save you some. Thank you. Oh, truffle mushroom soup. These are truffle shavings. This mushroom soup is chock full of flavor. I actually would love Sometimes that. Sometimes I like to wander around town and wonder who will be next to be messenger. Why? Uh, truffle mushroom soup can now be crafted in your kitchen. Hooray! Hooray, indeed. Let's uh, say hello to Bruno. Amira's been asking me to slow my drinking down. What she doesn't know is that it's the secret to my longevity. The drinks keep me tip-top, like a pickle in a good brine. I'd love for this line to be removed once um, Bruno makes the choice to go sober. Because, yeah, like, it feels weird to me that... Um... He's still talking about drinking heavily like that. 
You sure you want a simple fella like me to have this? Yes, we love ya, Bruno. How you doing? Juliet asked if I was going to the Spring Fling. I go every year, so I don't get why she's asking. I was wondering if Juliet had a crush on Bastion. Oh, that's so sweet. That's my interpretation of that. You guys in agreement? Oh, so cute. I'm not gonna say no to a surprise snack. I know it sounds so old of me to go like, you know, crushes are cute and everything. But yeah, you know, I'm gonna rock it. I am old. <laughs> Well, I do. Francis seems to have gotten over the shock of everything that happened in winter. He's back in my clinic, complaining of pollen allergies like any other spring. Well, that's good news, right? Oh, you're my best friend. Oh, okay. I need to be truly happy that you're happy now. Ah, uh, fine. I, I will be very happy that you're with him. Just has to happen. Right, what flower am I going to go for? This one. Should make some more bouquets, to be fair. Are you going to say anything, Tara? Parker asked me to help him send a romantic card to Lena with pressed flower paper and everything. It turned out really cute. And now everyone wants in. I feel like Fairhaven's own Cupid mailing service, Grandma. Everyone wants in? I, nobody else has asked me for it. What have I missed? No game. Ah, oh, stop doing this to me. I was wondering a, a few episodes ago about the whole, um, um, uh, grimoire that Vanessa apparently ripped up and was on the beach and I was looking for it. Apparently I'm not the only one which was worry, uh, wondering about that. I feel like me and Lena are in a place where I can discover new things about her. Maybe she whips up a mean, I don't know, eye of newt and toe of frog stew or something. Aww. Ew. Hey, if my Lena made it, I'd at least try it. Or pretend to. God, Parker, you're so freaking cute, and I love it, and I love the silver lining about this, right? Realistically, Parker has every right to be annoyed, and, you know, I didn't know this about you, but he's going, I didn't know this about them. Sebastian's mommy is a witch just like mine. I think that's pretty cool. I didn't realize there were that many. And, and rather than sort of like, you know, being upset by it, they're going, the silver lining is, I get to learn new things about the woman I love. Oh. Ms. Miranda's nice. I don't remember her, but she always says hello to me and Emmy. You know what's weird? Sometimes it's like Mommy gets kind of... shy around Miss Miranda. She never gets like that. Hmm. These kids see a lot, don't they? I love it. Uh, what have I got that you might enjoy? Ah, some spag bowl. Don't let it spoil your dinner. But have it anyway. Yum. Sometimes my mom says I'm a pastatarian, but can you blame me? Bolognese is delicious. Oh my word. I love you, Finn. You're so cute. And yes, I agree. Bolognese is delicious. Or oh, Bolognese. Oh, right. Okay, let's grab some goodies over here. What else should I get done today? Honestly? I don't think much. We are sort of like counting down the clock to spring fling. I, my, my farming I feel like is pretty good at this point in time. I don't need to worry. I don't feel very pressured about the farming um, in this game, which honestly is grand stuff. The, the money component, like, yeah, having a bit of money on hand is helpful, but I don't feel like you're pressurized to always grind for money. Which is actually really nice to have that kind of feeling. So I'm I'm down for it. Down for the no grind. Enjoy the story. And we're very much learning about all sorts of different types of characters. Are those grapes ready? I think they might be. All types of different characters and and, ooh, and spinach. And I love it. Even Perry, who arguably I probably is probably one of the people that I dislike the most. You know, I'm down for getting to know them. Uh, what else should I plant? I guess some more grape. And give me the hops, please. I am kind of tempted to actually just kind of 
only use the greenhouse as my growing bed and then convert this into trees and bees. I think that might actually be a sensible way to go. I don't know though. Here, go, hey, go for five days. Water some plants for me today? Because, like, you don't need that much produce. Realistically, well, I haven't found a need for that much produce. So, yeah. Okay, everything's done. We'll go say hello to Kitty, because I haven't today. And um, then we'll go to bed, I think. How are you doing? Oh. Oh, dear Kit. <gasps> Listen to that purr. I would very much like the option to build, like, um, something inside so Cleocatra could live inside. I. <laughs> you still liked that, didn't you, Kitty? Or, or, or a little house, right? I, I get that maybe Cleocatra is very wild, so it doesn't need much, but especially in winter and autumn, bed? even in spring, like, and summer, actually, because you want to get out the sun, you know, a little, a little house that they can go in, be warm, be sheltered from the rain, um, from the wind, you know, all of that stuff. But they can sleep and just be... Or they could come in the house, which would be my preference. Okay, we better go do this bit first. We've got some potions. There we go. Arda cooling potion. I think I'm going to do a um, harvest potion next. And then... Oof. I don't know... Honestly, at this point, I feel like I don't need to do much in regards to potions. So I'll leave it off for the minute. And maybe we can do some, like, tanning solutions. Yeah, don't see why not. Uh, what else? We could do some alcohol-free ale for Bruno. That seems like a good idea. What else? Um, hmm. Maybe some rum. I don't know what we need rum for. Let's do some vodka as well. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of stuff. We don't have to worry so much about our potions anymore. Everything's pretty chill. Okay. We have that. And then two days for spring fling. I will do my harvesting and then we'll go see Natalia. I did lie slightly. We're going we're gonna to do favorite foods for peeps. Spinach, there we go. <laughs> God, the alpaca is so cute. Oh, dear. <gasps> You're a full heart. Yes. Right? This is definitely full hearts, right? I think so. Come on. This will make a baby animal. Should I give her the fertility potion? Yes. Baby animal. Right. Let me take you in. To the stall. Models will be ready to have a baby in four days. Oh, okay. Uh, well, I'm going to interact with the alpaca and whatnot. Do we know what you like? Not yet. Here, have a mulberry. Okay, so do I need to feed you today? No, I don't think so. Or do I need to put it in here? Nope, okay. I think you've been fed today, which makes sense. Okay, uh, 1pm. What have we got to do? Oh yeah, give Natalia the potion. I got distracted by the animals, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No! Where are you? As they closed. Ooh, where would you be? Hmm. Should also go up and see whether or not uh, Wesley has an event. Um... Not around here. Not in the diner. You in there? No? Okay. Hmm. You at the consciousness center, maybe? No. 
You're not in here. Okay. Maybe you're... Oh, you're probably at the mines, aren't you? Yeah. I always forget that you like to hang out there. Angie Lovely, here you go. Please tell me you've got a cure. Marty just offered me some free chicks. I don't have anywhere to keep chickens, Tara. There will be chicken poop everywhere. Yes, drink this. It should cool things down. Thank you. <laughs> Give the potion some time to work its magic. Okay. The only good thing about being stuck with an island dating pool is that no one can ghost you. We're always going to run back into each other. Strange that you would mention that after what you were just talking about. Not gonna lie, but you know, I get your point. That's ya. Right, let's go, um, let's go, let's go annoy Wesley. Because, yes, we need to. Hello? Ooh, an event. Yay! What you reading, Wesley? Oh, I just acquired an out of print collection of traditional Russian fairy tales. I think my mom might have soften the endings of some of these when she read them to me at bedtime. Have you always loved old books and lore? Yes. I was studying the classics in college right before I got bit. I guess I was always kind of a dreamy kid. What about you, Tara? Do you have a favorite fairy tale? Beauty and the Beast, the Twelve Dancing Princesses, Little Red Riding Hood. That's kind of on the nose and I love it. Um, Mm, do I have a favourite fairy tale? I do. I don't know this one, which is interesting. I'm going to say Beauty and the Beast because of, you know, the obvious connotations. I've always loved Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I wonder if true love could turn me into a prince. I guess part of my fascination with folktales is my hope that I might find a clue in them that will lead me to a cure. I never imagined when I used to read them that I would one day live among the Fae. Perry doesn't like us to spend too much time with humans, but... I feel you can relate to how I feel. Your world changed just as suddenly as mine did. That's true. Yes, well, I feel like I can be myself around you, Tara. Intimate friends. Hello. <sighs> Being a werewolf is so inconvenient sometimes. Do you know how many vests I've torn while transforming? How many? Several. Uh, okay, um, let's give you... Some rose pool. Oh, my word. Thank you. Hazel used to make this for me, but your version? It smells even better. Thank you very much. Okay, so we just gotta wait now for Wesley to ask us out, right? Can I not ask Wesley out? Like, come on, let me. Please. I guess maybe that's where the bouquet would come in? Although I didn't see it as an option. I've been thinking about Hazel. I still expect her to stop by the apothecary. She offered much wisdom for a mortal. Aww. That's very cute of you, Perry, and I love it. Um, I don't think I have anything else. The... No, I need to go cook stuff for you. Actually, do you have, um, goods? Uh, you got some bits that I'd like, some rose water, thank you very much. And, yeah, I'm going to buy the crystal ball potion for the animals. Thank you very much, Perry. Okay. Ariel, are you here? And, of course, we'll say hello to Zephyr as well. Can't leave Zephyr out. Uh, five centuries worth of life, and I'm still happier surrounded by my fellow creatures. Oh, That I get. And I am pleased that you found your happiest place. That is honestly part of life's trouble. I wonder how many centuries it took you. <laughs> okay, let's um, befriend all the animals because I need uh, feathers. God, I love the way you waddle, Quackles. So cute. Okay, you like fruit. Let's try strawberry. No? No, not the favourite. Okay, fair enough. Let's try the strawberry. I love the duck with quacks as well. Grand stuff. Look at you waddling. Hello, buy a quacker. Here you go, have a strawberry. See if you like that. Try strawberries first with everyone. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, got duck feather from you. And I think, yeah, it's Chimkim left. Okay, I don't know what you like. Let's try strawberry. <laughs> don't open the gate. They'll escape. Right, chicken feathers. Okay, all good stuff. Let's go to bed because I want to see the spring thing. I'm very excited by it. Uh, do I need potions? Mm. No. Let's just Is go to bed. For bed. Yes. Mm. Let's go. We've got, got stuff to experience. Ooh, apples. And it's Friday. Is this the day or is it tomorrow that's the spring thing? I forget. I mean, I only just look, but hey, let me have a look. Um, check in on Natalia to make sure it worked. And then it is spring fling tomorrow. Okay, so we'll visit Natalia. Oh, hello. Hey, beautiful. I've been thinking about it. And I would like to take you up on your dinner offer. Shall we have an evening picnic in the hollow? I'll make an amazing charcuterie platter. Perhaps you could bring some bread. Just come by my shop when you're ready for our picnic. Wesley. Buy or make some bread for Wesley's picnic. I love this so much. I can make bread, right? Also, this is the only one that I've noticed Sophia doesn't get involved in. Which makes sense, but... Ooh. Interesting. Bread. Let's make two loaves. There we go. I've got bread. Wolf down a picnic. Okay, so we're going for a picnic. Or do we... Mm, do we do the spring fling before or after the date with Wesley? I think we should do it before. Because we said to Violet that we would... We would you know, go together single. And I don't want to break that. Hello? Tara, you're my hero. No one has come by to offer me free food or tell me how beautiful I am. Um, yay? <laughs> don't get me wrong. All the attention was nice, but I'm relieved that it's over. <laughs> tell you, I wanted to bring you something to make up for everyone in town falling in love with you. No offense, but give it to Tara. She earned it. And I think I'm all good with your libations for a while. Okay, well, here. Whiskey. So you, know, you can use the potion you made Natalia if you feel like your relationship with someone is going too fast. You know, if you feel like you want to explore your options before settling down. Just give it to that person and you'll cool down your relationship's progress with them. Without having to ghost them for a couple days until they get the picture. Um, okay. Good to know. No ghosting necessary. Handy, right? Or, or just tell them you're not that way inclined. That worked perfectly fine. I did that with you, with several people. Um, right, okay, let's go feed the piglet. Then I'm going to bed because spring fling. Oh, hello. What's up? Ah, no, no, no I'm going to hand feed. So you can hand feed using Feedly then. That's interesting to know. But no, let's um, let's do it ourselves. Here you go. We will look after our um, expectant mother ourselves. Ariel would expect no less, right? Ariel would be well mad with us if we didn't. Like you, you, you got a robot to do. I don't. You don't deserve that fertility potion. It's made of my hair. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Oh, Tara. No. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, you wanted to. You want another crystal? I think. Let's give you that. Nope. Okay. Why are you not picking up stuff? Are you going to do that now? I think you're going to do that now. Okay. Sleepy time. Yes. Is it time for bed? Yes. We want the spring fling. <sighs> Too excited by it. And the date. <laughs> I can't wait. I am so sad that the person I chose... I can't. I love it, though. Do not get me wrong. Um, but yeah, in my brain, I'm like, oh, sad. Because it is. Right, okay, your crystal wore off. Let's give you another hey, one. Get to it. And now you, you're telling me that you need stuff for uh, muddles. But no, I will deal with muddles. It's all good. Oh, look at the sheep's um, wool. Their coat. I've only seen them sheared. Here you go. Are you all good in your stool muddles? Let me give you a lime. Keep me happy. Through this process. Growing a another version of yourself is challenging. 
You need your favorite foods. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's um, head on off. We need to go to the town square, right? Uh, yes. Festival today, head to the town square. I'm very curious if the Fae are going to be there. I really want them to be. I'll understand if they're not, but I'd love them to be. Oh, look at the maypole. It's been platted. Oh, I love a platted maypole. I haven't been to like um, a May spring event Welcome to the so annual long. Fairhaven Spring Fling. Sophia and Angus have been working really hard on preparing special treats for everyone. So make sure to stop by their tables. Have fun! Mayor Miranda, there's something I'd like to say, if you don't mind. Sure, Thomas. Go right ahead. Well, this island has been my home almost my whole life. But it Is hasn't he... really felt like home since my mom and sister moved back Is to Is he going to propose? But now, for the first time, I feel like I might have a family here of my own. Sophia, I already asked oh. Juliet if it would be okay to ask you for your hand. Oh, my goodness. But now there's only one person left to ask. Sophia, I love you. Will you marry me? Such a beautiful yes. ring. Yes, of course I will. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Made me tear up. It's a spring fling thing. Enjoy the festival. I will. It will finish up when you leave town. And then you find all the dyed eggs that have been scattered around town. Twelve of them. Well, I can see one already. So exciting. Oh. Oh, I love it. Okay. Mom and Mayor Miranda made us do the maypole dance. Oh. What? It looks nice. It looks nice now. Finn somehow got himself woven into the maypole on our first try. <laughs> That's why I can't follow dance moves to save his life. Oh, Finn. I love it. Here you go, lovely. Ooh, a snap. Okay, Miranda, you did well. I just got word our maypole was indeed taller than Milkwaters this year. <laughs> the bouquets are so lovely. I'm so proud of Violet. And I'm so glad she has a friend like you here, Tara. Thank you, Gloria. I've got a gift for you as well. Hopefully my charm potion is still working, right? Let's what a see. delicious surprise. Foods one um, I don't know, actually. It's a shame I can't tell, like, anyway. Doesn't the town square look just amazing? Now that my mom's in charge, things are going to be so much better around here. Thanks again for all your help with the bouquets, Tara. You're welcome, lovely. Um, do I have anything that you like? I don't think so. I'm sorry. Hey. How you feeling, Sophia? Congratulations, Sophia. Oh, thanks. I kind of can't believe it. Juliet's been acting kind of squirrely lately, but I thought that was just Juliet being Juliet. But she was keeping this secret the whole time. Here, have some extra soup. What can I say? I want to share the love. Matzo ball soup. Thank you so much, lovely. And yes, I have your favorite food. you got to give you a gift on the day you get engaged. Oh, Tara... You're sweet. Yeah, have you got a ring on your finger now? No, not that I can see. That's a shame. Congrats, Thomas. <laughs> Thanks. I hadn't really planned to do that in front of everybody. But hey, she said yes. Okay, you didn't plan to do it, but you did it. Thomas, come on. You planned. Like, seriously. Didn't you? Some people think cabbage tastes funny. Me? I say they've never had real cabbage soup before. You gotta respect the cabbage. And also add lots of butter. <laughs> <laughs> oh. How you doing, Natalia? Have you said congratulations? I'm so happy for Thomas and Sophia. I hope they're really happy together. Me too. Oh. Oh. Not who I was expecting to talk hey. to. Do you think there's any chance Thomas and Sophia might want to have their wedding in the Consciousness Center? Uh, nope. Not even a little bit of a chance. Yeah, yeah I didn't think so. Oh, bless you. Enjoying the spring fling, Shelby? Sophia made soup. What's not to enjoy? 
Have I got anything you love? I do! Bread pudding, here you go. Enjoy. Ah, my favourite! I might save some for breakfast with my tea. <laughs> oh, enjoy. How you doing, Parker? Did that fill you with hope and love? Sophia's matzo ball soup could have come straight from a diner back in the city. It's making me a little homesick. Not gonna lie. Fair enough. What did you think of the engagement, though? This place looks great. You and Violet crushed it. Giacomo was my friend, but so was Thomas. And honestly, I think he would have been happy about this. He loved Sophia so much. He would have wanted her to have someone. Yeah. I want to always makes me feel awkward because I think that's likely the truth, but also oof, would be hard. Gloria is doing a great job as mayor, don't you think? I mean, just look at this place now. She's exactly what this town needed. I'm glad you think so. I think you're right. When I proposed to my Helena, I was so nervous I guzzled a pint for some liquid courage and then almost threw up on her favorite shoes. <laughs> She still said yes, though. I felt like the luckiest man alive. I bet Tommy feels the same way today. Bruno, you're so freaking adorable. I love it. I am making you your favorite. Um, but I didn't bring it with me. I'm sorry. Awkward. I never would have taken Kim for a hopeless romantic, but they really are just a total mushball. Aww. I'm glad you like it. I was feeling blue because I can't visit my family for Nauru's this year. But this is such a lovely celebration, Tara. Ah, oh, I am glad you're enjoying yourself. What did you think of the proposal? Mom and Violet have been stressing over this party for weeks. But I gotta admit, it looks pretty cool. And Juliet's getting a new stepdad. I wonder if that's weird for her. Go ask. Go find out. I'm sure she would love to talk to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, have some pancakes. But this is just like my mom used to make. Violet told you, huh? Gotta say, that was nice of her. And you. Oh, that is sweet. Hey, uh... Emmy's been giving me grief about the maple dance, but she's just jealous because I found more dyed eggs. I can see I'm one. I'm a great dancer. I just like to improvise. Miss Joshy taught us that word. Miss Joshy's doing a great job with you kids, honestly. I'm loving it. Hey, have some bolognese. Yum. Sometimes my mom says I'm a pastatarian, but can you blame me? Bolognese is delicious. Okay, let's grab our reward from here. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. One a penny, two a penny, hot cross buns. Well, okay, they're more than a penny, but my bakery has to make my margarines. Oh, oh God. Angus. But yep. you get extra because you helped. Thank I you. I can't believe Sophia and Thomas are engaged. Ooh, I wonder if they'll let me make their cake. Oh, I hope so. Bless you. Here, have some whiskey. Damo gave it to me. I can re-gift it, right? It's bad luck to mess with the spirits, except for this kind. We've been through this. It can be bad luck to mess with those spirits as well. What did you think of the proposal? So, Sophia's marrying Thomas. Good for them. Her matzo ball soup is really good. She takes care of people. And I bet he'll take care of her too. <laughs> Aw, that's actually pretty nice of Marty, actually. No, no, no. There we go. Kai, what did you think? Oh, another wedding. Maybe they'll get married on the beach by Thomas's farm. It would be so epic if they declared their love with waves crashing in the background. I agree, actually, Kai. I very much do agree. Oh, I don't have anything for you, lovely. Sorry. What about you, Giver? Or Miss Joshy? Ah, this is all so charming. And have you tried Angus's hot cross buns? They would be just perfect with a hot cuppa. I bet they would. Oh. Wesley, you're here. Last year was hard for Sophia. I'm so pleased she's found someone who will give her some joy. Me too. Me too. Okay, here, have a bottle of wine. Maybe we could have it on the picnic. Oh, I can't wait to drink some of this while reading the okay, latest Okay, you drink it yourself. Came in. <laughs> oh, dear. Thomas asked me if he could propose to Mom, like, ages ago. Oh, I've had to hold it in this whole time. 
Oh, Bless, I bet that was really difficult for you. Here, have some mushroom pizza. Pizza, even. Is that pizza? I will never say no to pizza. <laughs> Thanks. Mm -hmm. I didn't Kim. I was telling Amira, it's like love really is in the air here. This is really messing with my hard-earned cynicism. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Okay, um, let's hunt some eggs before we talk um, to... What's the name? Okay, none that I can see around this way. They are quite obvious looking, which is nice, because I need that. I like the balloons on the lamps. They're so cute. Okay, can I see any around here? No. Okay, around this way. In the fences. No. Okay, what about over here? Nope. I think it's just ten more to find. Let's check. Uh, yes, ten more. There's even a show hint button. Okay, we are going to try and not require the hints. Didn't be that difficult, right? Aha, I see one. Okay, we've only got nine more to find. Oh, no. Let me through. Thank you. Hmm. Parker's joint. No. Can't see anything here. Let's check the houses at the back. No. Nope. What about you? No. Okay. All right. Let's um go down a level. And check that. I'll go here. I can't imagine there would be. Oh. Okay. Here's one. So I can't imagine there'll be many around this way, but nope, there is more than I was expecting. We'll check the graveyard once we've checked around this way. Because, yeah, I was like, there's got to be some around the mayor's house. And there is. It's nice of them to give us, like, materials. I'm assuming we get to keep them, right? Okay. Oh, yeah, one in the graveyard. We're at 8 out of 12, so just 4 more. Oh, one by the anchor. 9 out of 12. Okay, so I missed some round this way, maybe? Oh, I can see one by the flowers. There's one on the boat. How do I get to it? Come on, let me up. There we go. Alright, 10. I can see the last two. There we go, 11 and 12. Hooray! An exciting development. Um, okay. We're gonna go sit down. Fair enough. Is it too much to ask for my kids to do the maypole dance one time without grumbling? I can't yes. get a good photo if they're just pouting the whole time. Oh, I do feel for you, Lena. Here, have some apple cider, which I've been told is probably not alcoholic. Cider in the UK is alcoholic. Mmm, I love apple cider. Oh, it's like autumn in a mug. Thanks, Tara. Um, and I love it. Don't get me wrong. I but. think I found all the missing eggs. Wow! Thanks for taking up some of your spring fling time with us. The whole town owes you a debt of gratitude for saving us from a summer of stench. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I think I've talked to everyone. We've enjoyed the spring fling. We saw the proposal, which honestly, oh. Am I sure I'm done with the spring fling? Yes. It filled my heart with so much joy. Uh, let's go. Let's go to see if we can do our date with Wesley. You know, we've just seen some beautiful romance. We feel romantic ourselves. Can't imagine why we wouldn't. We got our pig pregnant. Like, there is so much love in the air. Oh, why, why, why is Feedly not picking up the eggs? Like, come on, Feedly. Do your job. Okay, where is Wesley? Are you just not around this area because of the spring fling? Ah, Zephyr, how you doing? You missed the spring fling. Angus gave me extra buns to take home after fling. I think he still feels guilty about the malcontent fiasco. Aw, oh, I enjoy the buns. I love hot cross buns, honestly. So very, very tasty. Okay, we'll go see Perry and Ariel whilst we're waiting for Wesley to turn up for our day. How dare you be late? Every festival should include fey offerings. Human foods are surprisingly tasty. <laughs> I'll make sure to bring you a little something for the next one. 
I can see why it'd be nice to have a partner to celebrate fling with. But where would I find one? Hmm. Well, you know the answer to that, really. I don't have anything that you like. Whoops. Oh. Yes, you're as new werewolf Are form you as well. For our al fresco dinner? I am. Yes. I've got a fresh baked loaf right here. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, so pretty. I'll just say it, Tara. I didn't ask you to join me so that we could have a nice meal. There's also something I've been working up the courage to say. I care for you a lot. I feel the same way. Can we just be friends? Wouldn't that be funny if I accidentally selected that one? Nope. I feel the same way. Oh, Wesley. I feel the same way. Really? Even though I'm sometimes like this, if it were nighttime, I might go in for a kiss right now. Kiss him. Yay! Ah. Let's sit down, have our picnic. Come on. Yeah, here we go. Ah. All down a picnic, task complete. Tara and Wesley are dating. Ah, or is kneeling. Wesley, where are you going? What's happening? What's happening? Can't talk to you? Oh, come on. If I'm dating you, I need to be able to talk to you, surely. Let's, um... Let's head to the coven and see what's happening there. Because surely talk about changing the season should be happening. And I'm really curious about what that situation is. Ooh. Hello. Novice, herbalist, come closer. Uh oh. Your heroism during the search for Juliet, the rescue of Gloria, and the battle with Vanessa proved something clearly. You are both ready to be promoted beyond novice and herbalist. Violet, stand in the circle. Congratulations, Violet. Violet, you will be charged with maintaining the glamour around the stones and making sure the wellspring is protected. Do you accept these responsibilities? I do. Then step out of the circle. Guardian. Now, Ooh. novice, enter the circle. Tara, you have grown your connection to the earth this past year. You will now take on the responsibility that was once your grandmother's before you. You shall be in charge of deciding when it is time for our coven to perform our ritual to turn the season. Do you accept this responsibility? I do. Then step out of the circle. Keeper of the wheel. Ooh. Wait, there's one more. Initiate, enter the circle. You joined us in a moment of great need and showed great bravery in the forest and the battle with Vanessa. You shall now be known as novice. Wow, I don't know what to say. I never wanted to be a witch, but I thank all of you for welcoming me here. Aww. Aww. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> well done. I speak to the adept witch to begin your training. Confirm. Okay, and we've got a... Oh yeah, you're the adept witch. That's why. Are you ready to take on your new responsibility as keeper of the wheel? Um, yes. I think so. You will now be in charge of determining when the seasons change. You will need to brew spirit flame each time we turn the wheel. Sure. No prob. And craft the appropriate incantation for the upcoming season. Got it. Make the right offerings to the wellspring so that we have enough magic to perform our ritual. Fair enough. And upgrade your wand to be the one to cast the incantation from the altar. And there it is. I knew it couldn't be that easy. <laughs> when you are ready, come to me to begin the turning of the season. I love it. I really was curious. I'm glad it's been answered. Upgrade your wand. That's Zephyr's workshop. Seasons, greetings. A ruby encrusted wand upgrade you can buy from Zephyr. A summer, ri summer ritual incantation can now be crafted at your writing desk. Yeah, I was um, curious about that. Okay, we will talk to everyone. You would think I wouldn't appreciate trees so much after being encased in one for so long. But I have to admit, it's so lovely to see the silver willow still standing, thriving. Aww, I am glad. I sprinkled some cinnamon on our doorstep for a nice abundance attraction spell, and the kids were quick to trail it through the house. On the bright side, the carpet smells like snickerdoodles. Mmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad smell to have in if your you house. Your crystal ball near it. Why? Yes, what? thank you very much. I, it is important. I bet you've is told me it three times. Or is it hard not to take everyone's statements on the weather personally sometimes? Like, there's nice weather we're having, and then there's sure has been summer for a while. Damon. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to start getting those types of I'm comments. I'm forward to learning magic without the stress of some looming threat or impending disaster, you know? I am not a lump of coal. I don't need that much pressure. Fair dues, fair dues. Congrats. Finding mom isn't taking up so much of my... Yeah, uh, we've heard that one before. I've been thinking of using pressed floral paper for my prescriptions. Oh, that'd be cute. And potentially helpful for my patients. Rosemary to banish negative thoughts. Yarrow for courage and protection. I think there's potential there. That's really sweet, actually. I like that. Um, what have I got a lot of? Moonflower. There we go. Ah, the wellspring is fully loaded. Let's check out. So we just need to get the wand as far as the journal was concerned. What I'll do is I'll start making my way back. And yeah, we're going to be ending the episode here. Ah, oh, I very much enjoyed today's episode. We got the spring fling. We got the proposal that was just absolutely and utterly adorable. I love it so much. Uh, we got our date with Wesley. And we got promoted in the coven. I mean, what? What more could we ask for? I genuinely don't know. But I do hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. It really does help out the channel. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you enjoyed, what you didn't, all of that good stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. All of that amazing stuff you guys do. And of course, a huge and very special thank you to my wonderful Patreons, whose names are scrolling across the screen as I speak. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.